Zhao Tong joins us now from Beijing. He's a fellow at Carnegie Endowment's nuclear policy program based at the Tsinghua University, uh, it's, its Center for Global Policy. Uh, Mr. Zhao, uh, welcome to the show. I want to ask you about the United States and its role. The U.S. is now leaning away from more talks and negotiations in the United Nations Security Council framework. Uh, what do you see as a way forward for uh, the U.S. and the world in dealing with the DPRK issue? Well, there has been a lot of discussion about specific tactics at the U.N., for example, on how much more economic uh, sanctions are necessary and how much more uh, pressure measures should be included in the next U.N. resolution. But I think a big uh, problem that has prevented major countries from substantively cooperating uh, on addressing North Korea is they have major disagreement about what's the overall strategy to deal with North Korea. Uh, for instance, uh, China still doesn't understand why the United States believe that some additional uh, economic pressure would magically force North Korea to fundamentally change its nuclear policy. And, and therefore, what's the purpose of more economic pressure? Um, I think uh, countries do need to sit down and have some deep, uh, substantive discussions on the overall strategy uh, to contain the North Korean nuclear threat. But Mr. Zhao, do you think uh, what President Trump just tweeted about China, what he asked of China, uh, is fair? He wants China to cut trade ties with DPRK, saying that China, uh, by not cutting trade ties with the DPRK, is, quote unquote, doing nothing. Uh, but where would China's leverage with the North Korea come from if they did cut ties with the North Koreans? Yes, yeah, that's the key question. Why does the United States believe that uh, if more economic pressure is imp imposed on North Korea, that could, you know, fundamentally resolve the crisis? Um, I understand why the U.S. is frustrated. Uh, North Korea has contested two consecutive successful ICBM test and is now capable of uh, reaching the uh, entire continental United States with this ICBM. But again, uh, there are the additional economic measures that can be applied to North Korea are very limited. After six or seven rounds of UN Security Council resolutions, what is left uh, for us to do? Uh, maybe we can consider uh, prohibiting North Korean uh, workers from working in foreign countries. But how, much, how big a difference could that make? I think uh, the U.S. wants China to fundamentally cut economic ties with North Korea, but that could lead to a stability of the regime and therefore make the regime feel even less secure and less safe. How, where does this lead to? Uh, I think there is an internal dilemma about the American strategy. The U.S. hasn't figured out why additional pressure uh, could resolve the North Korean crisis. Well, we certainly need to not only treat the symptoms, but also the root causes of the issue. Thank you very much, Mr. Zhao from Beijing.